Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is episode 1 of a new let's play I haven't uploaded in a pretty long while, I guess. I uh, actually tried to start a let's play before, a Mongolia one as well, but uh, well, let's say that the game didn't really work out. I wasn't very active, especially with my uh, current schedule and everything. Including school has been a problem and I really forget about those games. Especially when I don't upload for a while like this. Anyway, we're gonna be starting today. Uh, and yeah, we'll be playing Mongolia as Mongolia who won a vote in the Discord server. It was pretty close between uh, China and Mongolia at the end. Mongolia won surprisingly. To be honest, I added them for a joke. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. We're gonna be playing Mongolia then. So, uh, literally, we're gonna be trying to do the best we can and uh, try to make Mongo Mongolia great. And uh, maybe with a general goal of restoring the Mongol Empire to some extent at least. You know, I can't guarantee we'll be able to actually uh, restore the entire empire. But I'd like to try and do a lot. And hopefully, at least make Mongolia pretty strong. So considering our current position, we are common turn doctrine, meaning we don't really have good troops to push into other countries for offensives, that's a bit of a problem. At the same time, I'm not gonna be too active here, so we really have to consider our options and what they really are here. Since I'm uh, not gonna be very active, I'm not really gonna be using air very much. Navy is useless, and it's gonna be useless for basically forever. Uh, tanks could be useful. Artillery, since I'm not gonna be very active, is also not gonna be very useful. Now we're left with tanks and infantry. Now what kind of infantry? Well, uh, we have buffs on regular infantry, but those are slow and those are defensive units, which we don't want as you're going to be trying to push and go for offensive wars instead of defensive ones. For that reason, even if it doesn't have any buffs, I'm gonna go for a motorized infantry here. And on tanks, well, light would be pretty damn retarded, and mediums have some uh, buffs with the common turn doctrine, so I'm gonna go motorized and median tank build. Just those two, but it should work. I'm gonna look around the country, there's a couple of barracks in these places. Uh, I'm gonna build three barracks and uh, two tank plants in Mongolia. That, this one can be a tank plant since we already have four uh, barracks. This has nothing in it though. So let's do that. I'm gonna schedule a level 2 as well. And another one. Well, my battery is gonna stay. This should stay. Let's uh, make Mandalovo a tank plant too. There we go. Schedule a level 2 as well. And for these other barracks places, we're gonna build them to level 2 just like Ulan Batar is. So uh, there we go. That's gonna secure some pretty damn good production if needed. We can advance on levels 2. Now we have some units, those are pretty damn garbage, but uh, we're gonna have to use what we have, I guess. For 10 2, we're not gonna attack them for a while since they are not worth taking out. They just uh, have a pretty damn big army and they're hard to take out for not much reward. So we're gonna go with the sheer map with them to increase relations, make sure they don't attack us. We're gonna do the same with Communist China as they are the, in the same position, basically. Maybe even harder to take out. That leaves us with. A couple of options, we could invade the Soviet Union, we could invade Xinjiang or Manchukuo, Japan or Nationalist China. Now uh, invading the Soviet Union could work out, but at the end of the day they could bring some more troops in and it'd be extremely hard to take control of the entire country, uh, especially in the long, well, especially in the long term, more like it's gonna be very hard passing the Urals and getting to the heartland of the Soviet Union and that would just take way too much time would be pretty boring too so we're gonna leave that for later if we'll do it at all. Manchukuo and Xinjiang they are warlords pretty damn weak um, so there would be a pretty decent place to invade however they match our strength how uh, decent these armies can get stronger pretty quick and are very likely to go inactive so uh, they're also not gonna invade us if we don't invade them, but we have a better opportunity which is a much higher reward. Not the Japan, but nationalist China. China has a lot of cities, a very small army consisting of like 30 militias, completely fuck with our motorized. 
and we can take them out extremely quickly. A Mongolian invasion into China is also extremely unexpected, so that gives us the edge. But with the other units we have we're gonna secure our borders on the Xinjiang and Manchurian borders because you never know when they're gonna attack and uh, it's always useful to have some kind of defense. These are like basically useless units anyway, but they're decent for defending. They're not gonna be useful for uh, an offensive war. So yeah, we're gonna put them on the Manchurian and uh, Xinjiang border then. Just a bunch of infantry, some militias and like one artillery. That's basically all we have. So there we go, that's our entire army going to these two fronts. I bet they're gonna go inactive pretty soon and with all the new troops we will be making, I will put them on the border with China and then we will invade very quickly. We should be able to blitzkrieg through them without much of a problem. Our economy is garbage but uh, taking out China should basically double it uh, or something like that, should increase its uh, strength a lot. After that we'll probably plan to take like Japan or the warlords, maybe Tibet, Xinjiang, and Choco, maybe Communist China and Tanatua already. I guess we'll still see how that goes. But yeah, that's basically the idea. So basically build up these uh, two kinds of units, they are very good for pushing and uh, they should very much work out. I don't see much stopping us, not even anti-tank, we have motorized, nothing really. Especially since this is a random game. Doing this in an RP would be much harder, but uh, yeah. As I said, Manchu goes in Kang. And since we'll be the ones pushing and doing the offensive wars, uh, we'll have a pretty big advantage of uh, surprise. For those reasons, this is uh, the build we're gonna be going for, and it should very much work out. So that's the plan. We're invading China maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. I guess I'll still see. But day 3 at the latest. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can like, subscribe, comment, I will probably reply and I will see you guys tomorrow. At least hopefully since it's a let's play. Anyway, I'll see you guys then and have fun until then. See ya.